Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is David and in this video I'm going to show you how to play the game Exploding Minions. It's the same game as Exploding Kittens, only with a different team, the Minions. So if you already know how to play Exploding Kittens, you can play this game straight away. Only difference is, of course, the team, but also it has one new type of action card. So please let me show you how to play Exploding Minions. It's a very big 3D box for just the cards that are inside it. You take the pile of cards, and you make a draw pile in the middle of the table. But before you do so, first you remove all the diffuse cards from the game and all the exploding minions. These are the two cards the game is all about. Because every turn you can play any cards from your hand, but mostly your turn will end by taking the top card of the draw pile. If that card is an exploding minion, you are out of the game, unless you have a diffuse card in your hand and this can cancel the exploding minion. So to start the game, all players will get one diffuse card, so they can at least survive one exploding minion. All other diffuse cards you have left are shuffled into the draw pile. By the way, if you are playing with two players, you only play with the cards that have the GRU tag symbol in the top of the card. When playing with three players, you only play with the cards without the symbol. And if you're playing with four or five players, you simply use all of the cards. And also, we will put exploding minions into the deck. And that is the number of players minus one. So in this example with three players, we'll add two exploding minions to the deck. And again, we shuffle the deck. And I should tell this in the right order. First you give everyone one diffuse card, then you shuffle the remaining diffuse cards into the deck, then you shuffle the deck and you deal out seven cards to each player. So all players will start their hand with eight cards and maybe you are lucky and you got extra diffuse cards. And once all players got 8 cards, then we shuffle the exploding minions into the deck. And then we're ready to play. And of course, you don't show your cards to other players. Pick a starting player, and when it's your turn, you can play or you cannot play action cards, as many as you want. Maybe you don't want to play any. And you end your turn with drawing the top card of the draw pile. So if I don't want to play any cards, I end my turn by taking this card. And of course, you are hoping it's not an exploding minion. But you can also choose to play action cards, and you can play as many as you want in a turn. So, for example, I can play a card called See the Future. I can privately view the top three cards of the draw pile. I am not allowed to rearrange their order, but at least I know what's coming up, and if I am safe to draw a card from the pile. Maybe it's an exploding minion, and I need to escape that. But for now, I am safe. But maybe if the top card is the exploding minion, I want to play another action card. For example, shuffle. I play this card and I will shuffle the draw pile. So if the exploding minion was on top of the deck, hopefully now it is gone somewhere else. And if this was the end of my turn, I take this card and luckily it's not an exploding kitten. Maybe if you know an exploding kitten is on top of the deck, you can play the draw from the bottom card. Instead of taking the top card from the deck, at the end of your turn, you take the bottom card from the deck. Still hoping it's not an exploding minion. Or you can play a skip card. You end your turn without having to draw a card from the draw pile. You can also play an attack card. Again, you don't have to draw a card at the end of your turn. But the next player will have to take two turns in a row. So that player can choose to play action cards, yes or no. Then he draws a card from the draw pile, and then he has another turn, able to play action cards, and again has to draw a card from the draw pile at the end of his second turn. If I play this card to my opponent, but my opponent also has an attack card, he can add it on top of this attack card, and then it will sum up. So this player also ends his turn, and the next player has to take four turns. Two turns from the card I played, adding two cards from that player, making four in total. So be careful when playing this card and hoping it will not turn against you. Well, maybe you have a nope card in your hand and this will cancel the last played action card. So if I am getting attacked with an attack card, maybe I can play the nope card and the action is cancelled. So this is the only card you can play when it's not your turn. However, another player can maybe nope this nope card and then the nope card becomes a yes. So two nope cards can cancel each other out. So maybe then the original action card will be activated anyway. 
And finally, we have this clone card. This one is not in Exploding Kittens, only in Exploding Minions. And this card is simply a clone of the card it's put on top. And this card simply copies the card underneath it. So this nope card will be cloned. And then this clone card is also a nope card. The only card you can not clone is a clone card itself. And you can even use this card if there's a diffuse card on top of the deck. You draw an exploding minion. Then you can clone the diffuse card and you're safe for this round. And then finally we have three normal minion cards that don't have a special action. They're just Bob, Stewart, Kevin and Otto. But if you manage to collect two of the same minions, say I have two times Otto, I can play them on the discard pile and now I get to steal a card from a player of my choice. That, cost, that has to be random, so the player shows me his cards and I'll simply take one. And mostly you'll try to take a card from a player that you know still has a diffuse card and maybe you get to take the diffuse card. So one steward does nothing. If you manage to get two stewards, you can discard them and steal a random card from another player. And those are all the cards that are in the deck. When you draw an exploding minion, you are out of the game. And then the exploding minion gets discarded. Unless you draw an exploding minion and you still have a diffuse card in your hand. Then you put the diffuse card on the discard pile and you can put the exploding minion back in the deck. And it's up to you where you put it. You can put it on top of the deck, maybe on the bottom of the deck, maybe the fourth card or just randomly shuffle it into the deck. That's up to you. Just make sure the other players don't know where you put it. So take the deck and put it behind your back or under the table and put the card wherever you want. And then return the deck to the table so that nobody knows where the exploding minion has gone. And so the game goes on and on. Players will run out of defuse cards. So finally there's only one player left because all other players are exploded. And that player is then the winner of exploding minions. And that is how the game is played. Exactly the same like exploding kitten. But of course the teaming with the minions and also the funny minion themed cards make this game more suitable for the younger kids. And since everyone loves the minions, it also might be a lot easier to get people to the table. If you have any questions about exploding minions, please feel free to ask them in the comments below. My name is David, thank you for watching and hope to see you next time.